and then I'm just going to sit in my little corner and scoop it with its residual sauce that's here in the saucepan. Mm. Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel, Indi Do by Fafa. Me always on you, Indi Do by Fafa, Nyeya, Koba Ndi Doa, Enyikwilu, Fafa, Come on, Indi Do, and Blon Fafa, I love the flavors of Olu, Yes, now if this is your first time, welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, my name is Fafa and I love creating recipes and new flavors. Yes, that's my thing. So today I'm going to make this incredible snack made out of cassava and I'll be serving it with my piri piri sauce. Now I'd leave a link in the description box below if you haven't tried the piri piri sauce. Yes, it's incredible even if I say so. I've got these, um, they call them mogo chips. I got it from one of the Asian grocers that are local to me and they're basically frozen cassava fries yes exactly that um, so it's just cut into that perfect shape all I need to do is boil it and then fry it but of course with that into the twist I mix it with stuff as one does mm -hmm. Now I have a previous video where I made the cassava chips but with different flavours and yet again I'd leave a link in the description box below so you can watch that as well so you've got that option. Mm. So these are my cassava chips. So that's just a perfect portion for one or maybe two. <laughs> but that's just a snack. Mm. You could tell that I was eager to boil my cassava chips because I ended up with a frying pan rather than a saucepan to do the boiling. But hey ho, who cares? <laughs> Let's fold this back, girls, till they're nice and soft. I'm not going to add any salt to it because um, once it's boiled, or it's almost done, then I'll add the salt, yes. Whilst cooking, it's just important to be cleaning your surfaces as you go along. This prevents you from doing extra work when you finish cooking. Anyway, please do stay safe, do take care of yourselves and make sure that you wash in your hands and if you do, wash it for a minimum of 20 seconds, ensuring every part of your hand is washed and clean. And as you know, whilst I'm cooking and if I do wash my hands, I like to use a little bit of butter to moisturize that hand, you know, as one has to. And I think my cassava is looking good. It's boiling perfectly. This has boiled for about 15 minutes and I'm just inserting the knife to make sure there are no restrictions when I do. That's an indication that the cassava is ready. And it's at this point that I do add my salt to taste. I'm going to discard the hot water by using my sieve and then I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. Let it air dry for about a minute. And at this point, I'm going to be adding a teaspoonful of my chili powder. And I'm using the red chili powder here. And for that smoky flavor, I'm adding my smoked paprika as well, as one should. This is so incredible, even if I say so. Now, I am milling some fresh black pepper cones over it, as one does. You see, now these should be ingredients that you should have in your store cupboard. And um, I'm just tossing it just to make sure that it's all, you know, marinated and flavored and just so. And I'm just going to leave this for about five to six minutes. Whilst the same frying pan, what is supposed to be used for, I've placed it on a medium heat, added my preferred oil, and I'm just going to be frying these bad girls. Yes, it's as easy as one, two, three. I think that's my neat thing, isn't it? It's as easy as one, two, three. In the last, I know I thought I didn't know if you could eh. Spicy said, no, you are no use. Go ben a kind smoky paprika if you know. We didn't show by no ke nine o mix spice afi. Ne but no ji creative cooking. And then I make an uni sa spices ni crampois. Dia wo biano for be kahon. Be announce wape and anya sa e glomela spices a ka la siwa na za ehe. Cause girl smoke paprika malasi, but that doesn't mean but you mother knew how to go. Ow. Now I'm just making sure that I'm frying this perfectly because I need it crunchy. And when I boiled it, you could just see that it was splitting, and that splitting part just creates this crunchiness. There is a method to the madness. Look at that. When we're talking about chips, 
this is it crunchy on the outside but it's still nice and moist let me just pick one up so you can just tell what i'm talking about look at that look at that river canaan thing oh i'm forming up yes it is ready now so of course i'm just going to be draining that on a kitchen towel so that any excess oil just comes out and this is the point that i like to do my decoration This is what we say your mouth de drum flavors be what and then i had a picnic if you'd like to see that video leave a comment below guess what i made these um dried yam and i wanted to try amala for the first time don't know whether it's going to work or not but anyway if you'd like to see that leave a comment below now naturally i would be leaving the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dubaifafat.blogspot.com so do check it out i'm on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat as in dubai for first so do pass by and say hi norelle thank you very much for my theme song we love you so much and until next time kings and queens thank you so much for watching this episode please stay safe take very good care of yourself and guess what just try something you've never tried before yes it makes the time while away beautifully me love you for you this is the right channel. My S was set for you